Another year's another tale. Another season of Riverdale. I should do that more often. You know, like do a rhyme, a little rhyme before review. That should be fun. Welcome back to another TV show review, and this time we're gonna talk about Riverdale season two. So Riverdale season two pick up just seconds after the, the end of season one. And I was like, oh my god, this is gonna be so good, this is gonna be so intense, it's gonna be fast paced, until it wasn't. I'm not saying this is a bad season, it's actually really fun, so hear me out. Season 1 benefit from a short length, it's only had like, what, 13 episodes? So the story, even though it had a lot of branches, it got a backbone. The, um, the killer, the Jason killer story. And no matter where they are in the, in the season, they always have that um, story to, to, to keep the season very focused. With season two, they bump it up to 22 episodes. That is a lot of extra episodes and a lot of filter episodes. I mean, like, honestly, all they have to do is just tell a very simple to, to make that Black Hood story the backbone of this season. And in a way, they kind of did, but they dropped that midway through the season. And the middle chunk of season two it's very sloppy, very unnecessary, and it's for a really long time. The show wasn't going anywhere fast. The writers, asked, at one point, they just didn't know what to do with the with the story, so they just have all these filter episodes in the, in the middle chunk of the season. The first part was really good, and then you know, um, right after the um, the musical uh, episode, it picked up again. And it got really, really uh, f uh, fun, but it's just that middle chunk. It was very sloppy, very unnecessary, and. Um, it just it it was aimlessly just going nowhere and it just it was it, I mean it's got its fun moment it's got its moments for sure um, these actors are still very charming very likable and you know I I honestly don't mind spending time with them with these characters and that's very rare very rare thing to say uh, especially for CW shows because all these teen drama it could get um, a bit annoying but because you know from the get go this show made it clear that it is not a um, it is not a straight uh, from book to, to screen adaptation because the um, you know the, the the comic book is, is a lot lighter, it's a lot um, more um, family friendly. But this show is a is a dark, sort of greedy look at sort of teen drama, and it's making it very clear from the get go that this is a teen drama, and you're not gonna get anything more than that. Sure, it could get a bit annoying, it could, it could get a bit sort of uh, melodramatic, but that is the show. The show is supposed to be melodramatic, so I'm not mad at, at the, that uh, aspect of the show. It's just that I feel like the season one was so much better because it felt more focused. Um, this season two started out uh, well, uh, very fast paced, um, and you know, again, all the characters are you know sort of evolve after the the, the event of uh, season one, um, and I, I like that. I like that. Um, but it just it's got to a point like again somewhere in the middle it just got very sort of clunky and i have to reiterate this this is not a bad season at all like it is actually a lot of fun it's just not as good as the first season it's just not as focused as the first season that doesn't mean it's a bad season when it's good it's really really good and for a show with such cheesy and such sort of uh corny writing these actors they actually uh, found a way to deliver really really good performances which is Really impressive because, like, as an actor, when you give me something so cheesy, I I can never like, you know, find a way to to make this work. But somehow these actors they they made it work. They also introduced some new characters. One of them in particular, Hiram Lodge. Oh my God, this guy! He is such a welcome addition to the show. I would love to see more of him. He is this sort of mobster, sort of businessman, and every time he's on screen, man, he just chew up the scene. Oh my god, like, I, I, I love this guy. There's so much mystery, there's so much um, sort of charm, but at the same time, so evil and so calculating, and I, there's just something so interesting about this uh, this character, and I would love to see where they take him in um, uh, future seasons. And also, I just want to get this out of the way. Riverdale is still one of the most well-shot, some of the most beautiful-looking shows on television right now. The cinematography is insane, especially when they're in pop. Like, the lighting in pop is just is magic. And toward the end, they did the whole, you know, identity review of the Black Hood, and I thought, you know, compare that to season one where they revealed the, the, the killer of, uh, uh, you know, Jason, um, spoiler alert, uh, his dad. I thought in season one that review was uh, 
was not earned. You know, like there's not they didn't really they didn't uh do a really good job setting up that review. It has really you know, it has really good shock value, uh, I, I would say that. But, uh, you know, when you think back to the all the episode prior to that, it, it didn't really make sense, um, at, at least uh, from my point of view. But with this season, you know, when the Black Hood, you know, like, oh, it's me, I'm the Black Hood, they did a pretty good job setting him up with, you know, all the episode uh, before that, but not giving way too much, you know, like, you, you, you kind of have an idea that it's uh, the... It's uh, that person, but you don't know for sure. Um, so that that's what make the, the review work for me. And they did something really clever. It's not just like a straightforward, oh, I'm the Black Hood. Ta-da! But, you know, like, they, they did something really, very, very clever, and I did not see it coming. And one more thing that I noticed in this season of Riverdale is that Riverdale is almost like a reverse Game of Thrones. In the sense that in Game of Thrones, everybody, no matter how good you are, there is some aspect of you that is a bad person. Like, you are, to some level, an asshole. But in Riverdale, it doesn't matter how bad of a person you are, to some level, you have goodness in you. You know what I mean? Like, everybody, almost everybody in, in, in Riverdale, doesn't matter how terrible of a person they seem to be sometimes, deep down, they're still a good person. And that's where the, the character of Cheryl comes in. In season one, I could not stand her. She is a bit too animated, a bit too, um, sort of, uh, you know, um, extra. Let, 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 let's say that. She, she's like this sort of attention uh, fishers, this, um, what did you call it? In high school, we call uh, this person um, drama queen. In season one, I did not like the character of Cheryl. But season two, she actually evolves. She turned into this, um, a much deeper and a much, you know, you know, we, we just had more time to explore the character of Cheryl, and she became that much more relatable, that much more um, likable, and I just really like her character in this, uh, in this season. She had one, she got one moment where she is, you know, wearing this uh, red hood, red riding hood, and, you know, shooting arrow. I thought I was pretty badass. So to wrap this up, season two of Riverdale is actually really fun and you know when it's good it's really really good but it's just that middle chunk that got a bit convoluted and the show just for a really long time didn't really know what it wanted to be, where it really wanted to go and it just you know for like I, I want to say five or six weeks we as an audience we didn't really know where they are going with this. I'm, I'm like you know I'm, I was watching I'm like okay well, what are we doing? Like there's those the show just wasn't for a really long time, the show wasn't going any and anywhere fast. I thought the season finale did a really good job of uh, concluding the, the the second season as well as setting up next season. They found a pretty um, pretty good balance in you know wrapping up one season and you know setting up another season. I'm gonna give season two of Riverdale a seven out of ten. So again, it's not quite as good as the first season, but if you're a fan of Riverdale, if you're a fan of the show, you're gonna be satisfied, you're gonna be pleased by the end of it as I was. Hey guys, thank you for watching the review. If you enjoyed, hit the like button, subscribe to me if you wanna see more reviews like this. If you've got the chance to see uh, Riverdale season two, let me know in the comment section how you feel about it. Did you like it, did you not like it? And with that being said, I'll see you soon.